It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports, where we'll see teams who have been division rivals since 1961. It's the Chicago Bears and the Washington Commanders, and it's all up next. We are just inside the Beltway, about 10 miles east of the Capitol Dome as we come to you from FedEx Field here in Landover. Tonight, we've got a good NFC matchup in store as it'll be the Chicago Bears taking on the Washington Commanders. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. A CD, these commanders, a last place ball club in 2022. In most cases, you'd say that was a lost season, but they finished 8-8-1, eight, eight, 500. That would have won the NFC South. What kind of a chance do you give them in what is certainly a loaded NFC East? And you're exactly right about the division, so you have to be cautious about what you think with this team. They've got to continue to play excellent defense and get some improvement on the offensive side of the ball and establish who their quarterback is going to be. And then for the visiting Bears, they want to wipe the slate clean from 2022. Now, working in their favor, we've seen plenty of teams in the NFL make big turnarounds from year to year. What can the Bears do to you know, just get back closer to maybe seven, eight wins, Charles? Well, they want to coalesce all this young talent that they're accumulating and guys that they brought in from the outside and start to build a culture, a feeling around this team that they know they can compete week in and week out. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. On the option left is Fields. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. A solid gain of seven yards that time on the keeper and a first down. And this is one of those plays that if you can use it to keep the chains moving, it's a good play. And not only that, it tends to tamp down the pass rushers because they have to recognize this play and stay at home. The quarterback uses it well. Read option, keeps it, and picks up a first down with some nice running. And he'll get what he can up the middle, three yards, and that'll bring up second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run. All right. It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Oh, and a gain of three on the play, and that'll bring us to a third and four. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Now it's Fields. And the commanders are going to get there as he's taken down. Montez Sweat, the man that time to fight in and drop him. Fourth down, so they send out Trenton Gill. They'll call it a punt of 44 yards. The return was for seven. And the Commanders will take over with a first and ten. A first and ten here for Hal and the Commanders at their own 20-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. He's got the hookup downfield to Samuel. Down the left sideline. Curtis Samuel, touchdown, Washington. Curtis Samuel, an 80-yard touchdown. And the Commanders put the Knights' first points on the board as they take the early lead. One play, 80 yards. Pretty easy drive to recap. <laughs> it certainly is, but not so easy to execute. Starting on your own 20, you want something to kickstart your drive and get it off to a nice start. They went for the whole thing and got it. That's a great way to send a message to the opposing team. The extra point by Sly is up and good, and that makes the score 7-0. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. And the drive will begin at the 25 as Scott is going to stay in the end zone. Chicago works their way back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Yeah. 
Read option. Here's Herbert. Bust through the tackle. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. And when he can make the play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. Now Fields. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And that's going to make it fourth down. Well, the good thing about covering any game I do with you is I know that there's no problem with rhythm. Now, what we're watching offensively, a little bit of a problem there. Yeah, punt on the first drive, looking at another one here. Just a little slow. And, you know, they, they were talking about a fast start, but that hasn't been the case. Yeah, and let's face it. Any team we cover always talks about a That's fast true. start. That's true. But it's not necessarily going to happen just because they say so and whether it's the script whether it's you know just what they're going through whether they're seeing different defenses they're gonna have to figure it out as this game moves on a good starting spot for Washington as they come up first and ten on their side of midfield at the 47 is going to wind up incomplete. It certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. Powell. And this is going to be dropped. Oh, my gracious. There was no one in his area code, but he could not hang on to it. And that is not what you expect from a receiver of his caliber. Sometimes you get a little ahead of yourself. You don't look it in, and all of a sudden it's on the ground. A surprise to all. Powell throwing on third down here. And now another one thrown in. Partner, we've got ourselves a ball game, and those guys on defense, they came to play. Slipped up on their first series, but they're definitely settling in now and letting it be known that points won't come so easy again. And that'll hit at the five and go into the end zone for a touchback. The Chicago offense set to get started. Still in the first half, but this offense has struggled. Haven't really been able to get anything going, not only in the points category, but in the yards category. Let's see if they can do better here on this drive. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. Here's a second and five now from the 25. Herbert now on the option. And they get him down but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 16 yards is the pickup there and a first down for Chicago. Here's Travis Homer, the former Miami Hurricane. That's a good acceleration there as he's across midfield to the 48-yard line. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. The Bears with the football. We get set to begin quarter number two. As they've got it with a first and ten. Here's Fields. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he'll get it down here to the 43. It'll be a gain of five. And that's going to bring up second down. At the 43 yard line. Herbert powering up the middle. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. And that one going nowhere from the start as he's met in the backfield and goes backwards. Losing two yards that time, and now it's fourth down. They snap it to Fields. That's to his running back, complete. And he is going to have the Bears first down, it would appear. And yes, the chain gang going to move the sticks. They take a risk on fourth and four, but they get it by a full yard. Now Fields going to keep it running left. 
Fields hit, and the ball is loose. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. Much like a running back going through the line, quarterbacks have to be aware of protecting the football as well. He left it exposed that time, wound up having it knocked free, but fortunately, had an alert teammate who was able to get it. Meanwhile, Fields throw complete here to commit. And they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Fields going to hold on to it. And maybe the wrong read there as he's going to go down immediately. It's a loss of four on the first down play. Second and goal from the sixth this time. Here's a give to Herbert. Chicago. Khalil Herbert, a six-yard touchdown run. And the Bears are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Well, solid blocking up front from the guys on the offensive line allowed him to get in for the touchdown. Yeah, some might say that the guys on the offensive line were in concert. I used to have a coach who called it marrying up. Meaning, when you get on a guy, you just stay right there, and each guy has his own assignment. That allowed the runner to make the big move towards the end zone. Cairo Santos on to try the extra point. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told, and it's capped off by a touchdown run of six yards. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And able to get this out to the 25. So out comes Washington's offense to take over. As we eat closer and closer to intermission, Charles, remember last time out they punted. They would love to get points here, especially if this is going to be their final possession of the first half. Yeah, and this is what close games feel like because the pressure is on both sides, but sometimes the pressure is a little bit higher on the team with the slight edge because they're trying to hold on to that, trying to increase it. Let's see how this one continues. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and ten. Well, the play fake, and now here's how to throw it. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Now a second and ten. Shotgun handoff to Gibson. And that one opened up for him well as he'll take this down to the 26-yard line. They get 17 there. Good for a commander's first down. Here's Hal. Thomas brings it in. And he doesn't quite make it. Taking it with an eyelash. Dropped at the run. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Robinson. They'll say no gain on the plane, and it'll be second and goal. The right there at the one. No gain, but don't let that stop you. Line back up and keep going at them. If I'm them, I'm thinking. And they'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Washington. Brian Robinson, Jr., a touchdown run there from a yard out. And the Commanders will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. Extra point by Sly is up and good. And that makes the score 14 to 7. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. And the drive will begin at the 25 as Scott is going to stay in the end zone. Well, the Bears going to take over now late in this first half. A slim deficit here in a one-possession game. Not much time left, obviously. We'll see if they can march this down the field, at least get three and take some momentum into the locker room. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. So following the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 25. Fields now to throw. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. 
good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with a little game. A final shot before the break. Fields. This is Chase Claypool on the receiving end. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime This has certainly report. been a fun one Coach. to watch so far. We knew this was going to be a battle, and we have not been disappointed. This is the kind of game that could wind up hinging on which side can play mistake-free football the rest of the way. We just watched a fine first half from quarterback Sam Howell. He connected on a touchdown pass in that first half, and that's a big part of why his guys lead at the break. Both teams currently making their final adjustments. We're getting ready for the second half. So we'll send it back up to FedEx Field and hand things back over to Brandon Gott. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. A one-touchdown ball game, 14-7. Our scores, we get back at it on EA Sports. And we will not see a return to start the half as this will be a touchback. Curtis Samuel and the rest of the offense heading back out there now. Good day for him so far here in the third quarter. He's hit pay dirt once, over 100 yards. But, hey, it's the third quarter. He's thinking, I want more, right? He wants more, and it just increases the confidence of his team because every play he makes, that means his quarterback is really feeling good about throwing the football. Probably feels like he can't throw an incomplete pass when he throws it to him right now. Yeah, he's looked really, really sharp. Howell and the Commanders come up now first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Second half starts with a run by Gibson. And yeah, they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. An ideal beginning of the drive there as they'll get 20 and a first down. Gibson with the solid pickup there, and the commanders love using his ability in a variety of roles. Led the team with almost 1,400 all-purpose yards in 2022. He can run it and catch it out of the backfield. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he could break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. On second down, a run with Gibson. And he'll go down, shy of the 40 at the 41. 43 yards rushing for him now on just his first three carries. Second until his prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, Go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. I think he's as fine with that incompletion as a quarterback can be, in all honesty. He avoided his first sack of the game, and he did have a chance of connecting for yardage, just unable to on that throw. Gibson here running out of the gun. Not much there. Maybe a couple as he's taken down at the 40. Whenever we talk about the best strong safeties, one word constantly comes up, and that's instinct, being able to diagnose run or pass and make the appropriate moves. He crashed down hard there. He was ready for that running play. First down marker at the 31. It's third down. Back to throw. Howell. Open man is Samuel. Complete. And I don't think he got there. No. He's short by maybe a foot, maybe. Call it fourth and inches. Well, it wasn't a big strike, but that completion put them in really great range. What do we have now, fourth and inches? Yeah, it's not more than a half a foot. You know what I would do here? You would always go for it. <laughs> I'm one of those guys. And he gets the first down here as he's taken down at the 24. And the drive stays in motion with a nice eight-yard pickup on fourth. First down, how to throw. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Then their back's up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. 
Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. That play call wasn't there for them against that coverage. So they're going to spin the dial now in their playbook and come up with one more shot at the marker to try and keep this series going. Al now to throw it. They're able to find the open man. That's complete. Touchdown. Terry McLaurin. A 24-yard touchdown. And the Commanders take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Extra point by Sly is up and good. And it's now 21-7. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. And the drive will begin at the 25 as Scott is going to stay in the end zone. So here are the Bears now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. They make their second half debut here. and Things are looking a little bit tougher now. You give up the points there, Charles, that touchdown drive on the other side. So now it's a two-score game here. Got to be careful. They certainly do, and I'm just wondering at halftime if those guys just looked into each other's eyes and realized what they've got to get done and come out a little bit more charged up because if they don't get some kind of points here, that next drive, that could make this a three possession game. In the third quarter here in D.C., a second and 10 upcoming. Moore, the man in motion. On second down, a run with Herbert. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had the incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. He's got his target. That's complete. Now he's loose down the left sideline. Touchdown, Chicago! DJ Moore. 70 yards, and the Bears have got it back to within a score. Santos with the extra point, and they're back within a touchdown at 21-14. After the touchdown, here's the punter Trenton Gill to kick it away. And Gibson decides against bringing it out. Here comes the commander's offense back onto the field. And their lead cut in half by that touchdown a moment ago. They are up seven as they begin this drive first and ten. Now Hal. He's got a man complete. Down the left sideline. Touchdown, Washington. Terry McLaurin. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Commanders are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. The extra point by Sly is up and good. And the lead now up to 14. One of the shortest drives you'll ever see. One play, 75 yards, six points. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. And the drive will begin at the 25 as Scott is going to stay in the end zone. The Bears offense ready to get going again. Right now, Charles, it just feels like they're trying to keep pace. They did score the touchdown last time out, but they still trail by double digits here. We'll see if this offense is once again up to the task. Yeah, and I think that after the last drive, they've got to be pretty revved up, don't you think? Everything they were doing was working pretty well. They go back out there with the same mindset, point the same tempo, the same pace. Still a lot of time left to make something happen in this one. So from the 36 now, first and 10. And the Bears first down. Draw play, a give to Herbert. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 48 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and 10. Now Fields. That's complete to his running back, Herbert. Defensively, a solid response after giving up back-to-back -back first downs. Now second and nine. A 
Handoff for Herbert. Treads the tackle. And he carries this one past a midfield stripe and into commander territory. Good work to pick up seven yards there. That gets him into a third and one situation. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. They'll run with Herbert. Boy, no chance as he was met and dropped behind the line there. A three-yard loss. Fourth down now. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. The Bears tried it on fourth down, unable to convert. And it'll be a turnover on downs. On first and ten, it's Gibson. And good work there in open space. And he's got this all the way down now to the 32. 15 yards the pickup. First down, Washington. And Howell will throw it. And he will find his man, Samuel. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. A good pickup there, 26 yards. This is something you got to be wary of defensively. I mean, just because they're in the mode of trying to burn some clock doesn't mean they won't pass it, and they got good yardage out of that one. Yeah, and really, when you're looking... And he's in! Touchdown, Commanders! Antonio Gibson, a six-yard touchdown run! And the Commanders have put this one to bed here in the fourth quarter. Extra point by Sly is up and good. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. And the drive will begin at the 25 as Scott is going to stay in the end zone. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. And last time they were stopped on fourth down, had a drive stalled out. We'll see how they respond this go around. I'm eager to see what their mindset is because moving the ball, feeling good, and then that abrupt stop on fourth down, do they go back to the bench and go, oh, boy, they've got something for us? Or do they go to the bench and say, we, we yeah. blew it ourselves. Let's get back out there and move the ball again. And is it different? Fields hit, and the ball is loose. Second time in this game, Charles, the ball has squirted out from his hands. Luckily, his teammate was there to pounce on it. You're right. Got the lucky bounce, able to retain possession. You know, we often talk about the combine and why do we measure quarterbacks' hands? Is that really a big deal? It's for situations like this. Do you have the hands big enough and strong enough to hold on to the football while being jostled? get this one across the 35 and quickly they get to the line fields on first down and now a fumble the ball's out and it's washington that scoops it up and they'll set up shop in enemy territory at the 45 yard line all right you've had to put up with me in this booth i'm gonna try and be simple this time and succinct it simply has not been their night no, I think that fumble's kind of indicative of how this whole evening's gone, isn't it? Without a doubt. I mean, they've, they've tried, <laughs> but nothing has ever really taken throughout the game. That's why they're down so big. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. A well-executed 22-yard game. Throwing here, Howell. Doesn't quite make it, taking it with an eyelash. Dropped at the one. That's now a pair of explosive plays in succession, both north of 20 yards. Robinson is in. Touchdown, Washington. So they brought the extra bulk in down on the one-yard line, and they're able to 
push this one across. Yeah, I can just see your face right now because I know we're mind melding on this one. Coach Madden would love this. Power football, hat on a hat, chest to chest, driving forward, touchdown. Extra point by Sly is up and good, and that'll increase their lead to 28. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. And the drive will begin at the 25 as Scott is going to stay in the end zone. Another drive coming up for this Chicago offense. But right now, they're in a bit of a tough spot here, CD. You trail them by double digits. Remember the last time out, they fumbled. They're going to have to play some clean football here on this possession. And all the talk on their sideline has been about taking care of the football, making sure that they're handling the ball correctly. So you know they'll be squeezing the rock pretty tight here. They just have to be careful not to go so hard in doing that that they actually cause themselves other problems. Take care of the ball, but still try and play free and natural. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Bears with the football here as we welcome you back. They're looking at second down now as they search for a consolation score. Ball at the 24 and a second and 11. Back to throw, Fields. And he cannot avoid the pressure as the Washington pass rush gets home. No surprise there, Chase Young wrecks that play with a sack. So now following the sack, Fields and the Bears looking at third down and long. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. Well, that play was certainly a little bit different because on the previous play, he was sacked. This time, protection a lot better. Had time to survey the field and still couldn't find an open receiver. Returnable here from the 38. Oh, a nifty juke there. Not much fun for a guy trying to tackle it. That'll be a 41-yard punt, just one yard on the return. And it will be Washington football now with a first and 10. Looks like he'll throw here. And the defense, they get to Howard. He'll go down here. That sack by Tremaine Edmonds. And that's something we didn't see very often when Tremaine Edmonds was in Buffalo, him rushing the quarterback. He's been a tackling machine throughout his career. But maybe the Bears get a little more involved in the pass rush as we just saw there. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. 87 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Well executed there on second down, so do you go back to the air on third? Well, that's a possibility, but now you've opened up things to where you showed that you would run the ball in long-distance situation. You might come back again because I doubt they believe you'll do it a second time. Partner, under the lights in primetime, this offense, they gave the nation quite a show, putting up that many points to come away with what will certainly be a memorable win for them. And, Brandon, I think it's as simple as this. Some players, some teams, they're just meant for the big stage. And when they get a chance to play in this type of atmosphere where all eyes are on them and all the lights are shining brightly, they show up and they show out. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the 